let's continue our lecture video in engineering economics and this time our topic is present economic studies there are many cases in engineering economy studies where interest is not a factor these studies are frequently called present economy problems such studies usually involve the selection between alternative designs material or methods now in this video we will answer the given two examples in the uh, handout or module that i have already uploaded in the ms teams so let's answer number one an electrical contractor has a job which should be completed in 100 days at present he has 80 men on the job and it is estimated that they will finish the work in 130 days. If of the 80 men, 50 are paid 190 pesos a day, 25 men are paid at 220 pesos a day, and 5 men at 300 pesos a day, and if for each day beyond the original 100 days, the contractor has to pay 2,000 pesos liquidated damages. How, how many more men should the contractor add so he can complete the work on time? Also, if the additional men of 5 are paid 220 pesos a day and the rest at 190 pesos a day, would the contractor save money by employing more men and not paying the fine okay so we are making decisions here the first one it will ask how many men should the contractor add or hire so that he can complete the job on time because it says there in the problem the job here should be completed in 100 days so the contract duration is 100 days only but here according to the problem at present the contractor has 80 men on the job with that 80 men they will finish the work in 130 days but it says here if for each day beyond the original 100 days the, con the contractor will pay a fine of 2000 pesos so meaning the contractor will pay a fine of 30 times 2000 pesos because he will be <coughs> exceeding the contract duration now if he wants to finish the job on time how many men will he add from his current 80 men now so that is what we are going to answer for this problem we will use the unit man days so what is a uh, man day according to one definition a man day is a day regarded in terms of the amount of work that can be done by one person within this period meaning one person completes a task in one day that means the effort is one man day if five people complete a task in one day that means there is five man days now if five people complete the task in two days that means ten man days so using that pattern we can then put here that originally for 80 
men, so we are solving for letter A. For 80 men, they can finish for 130 days. So this is Monday. Then for them to finish the 100 day, for 100 day, how many men should you add for 80 so that they can finish for 100 days? So that's how it is. So if we solve this, we can get the value of x for 24 men. So if the contractor will hire 24 more men into the project, then they will be able to finish the project in 100 days. So that is for letter A. Now, how do we solve for letter B? First, how do we understand this? For letter B, if the additional men of 5 are paid 220 pesos a day and the rest at 190 pesos a day, would the contractor save money by employing more men and not paying the fine? So here, the uh, contractor is having a decision whether he will stick to the 80 men that he has and pay the fine or he will hire additional men and not pay the fine. So he is having a, uh, two alternatives to choose from. So we, we need to help that contractor by solving. So what it means by if the additional men so remember that we have 24 additional men. It says there, if 5 of that 24 men are paid 220 pesos in the rest, or that is the 19 men are paid 190 pesos, let's see if the contractor will save money or not. First, let's solve at 80 men. So at 80 men, so how much is the labor for the 50 so there were 50 men who are being paid with 190 pesos per day and that is for 130 days okay so how much this is has here that is equal to how many peso? So one million and two hundred and thirty-five thousand pesos. Then twenty-five men are paid two hundred and twenty pesos per day for one hundred and thirty days. that is equal to so that is 715,000 pesos then there is uh, the five men so we were able to get this 50 90 uh, 50 25 and then another one is the five men so for the five men there they are being paid at 300 pesos per day for 130 days so how many pesos is that so 5 times 300 times 130, that is 195,000. So what is the total for this? But then, let's not forget we have the penalty. So we cannot total it yet because there is a penalty. So the penalty here is 
is uh, 130 days minus 100 days. So that means 30 multiplied with 2,000 pesos per day. So it says there are 200 pesos each day that they are beyond the original 100 days. So that is equal to 60,000 pesos. So that is for total of 2 million 205,000 pesos. So that's for the total for 80 men. Now how about if he hire additional men? So at 80 plus 24 men, that is 104 men. So what's the condition again? If from that additional men of 24, 5 are paid 220, so let's add 5 in this portion here because they are paid 220. Then the rest is paid at 190 pesos. So 190, so 24 minus 5 is 19. So let's add the 19 men in this portion because they are paid 190. So we have there 50 men plus the 19 men, the additional 19 men, who are being paid 190 pesos per day. And we have there 100 days. So that is a total of 1,311,000. Next is the uh, 25 men with additional of 5 men who are being paid 220 pesos per day for 100 days. That is equal to 660,000 pesos. And for the five men that is that are being paid with 300 pesos per day in 100 days, so that is equal to 150,000 pesos. And take note, there is no penalty because the job is finished for 100, and 100 days so the total here is 2,121,000 so you can see the difference at 80 men the contractor will pay 2,205,000 and for an additional 24 men the contractor will pay 2,121,000. So the savings here is equal to 2,205,000 minus 2,121,000. So the savings is 84,000 pesos. What's the question again? Would the contractor save money by employing more men and not paying the fine? The answer here is yes. The contractor... saves 84,000 pesos by hiring or employing 24 
more men. So this is how we make decision, we uh, do the decision making, we do it mathematically. So we are be being able to compare the two alternatives, the 80 men and the 104 men, and it turns out that we could save money, or the contractor could actually save money by hiring more men. Okay, so that is for example number one. Now for example number two, the monthly demand for ice cans being manufactured by Mr. Reyes is 3,200 pieces with a manually operated guillotine. The unit cutting cost is 25 pesos per piece. An electrically operated hydraulic guillotine was offered to Mr. Reyes at a price of 275,000 pesos and which will cut by 30% less the unit cutting cost of money. How many months will Mr. Reyes be able to recover the cost of the machine if he decides to buy now? Okay, so the situation here is that Mr. Reyes has been using manually operated guillotine for a time now. And we have here a fixed monthly demand for ice cans. So we have here. demand for ice cans is uh, 3,200 3, pieces per month and he has been using manually operated guillotine with unit cutting cost of 25 pesos per piece and then something new happened here comes the electrically operated hydraulic guillotine which has a price of 275,000 pesos which will cut by 30% less of the unit cutting cost. Meaning if the manually operated guillotine has a unit cutting cost of 25 per piece then the electrically operated hydraulic guillotine will reduce that cost by 30%. And the question here is, if Mr. Reyes buys the uh, electrically operated hydraulic guillotine, how many months will he be able to recover the cost of the machine if he decides to buy it? Okay. so let's compare so using the manually operated guillotine let's use the word manual for the manual we have here 25 pesos per piece and we have a fixed demand for 3,200 pieces per month and the cost is 80,000 pesos per month so Mr. Reyes has been paying 80,000 pesos per month to produce 3,200 pieces of ice cans now here comes the uh, electrical operated guillotine the cost has been the unit cutting cost has been reduced by 30 percent so how do we uh, show that so 25 pesos multiplied with oh, so it is being reduced by 30 percent so that means 
the unit cutting cost becomes 17.5 pesos per piece. So, it has been reduced compared to the former unit cutting cost. Then, we will now compute for the monthly cost of cutting. So, 17.5 pesos per piece multiplied with 3,200 pieces per month. So the monthly cost using the electrical, electrically operated hydraulic guillotine becomes 56,000 pesos per month. So the savings is from the 80,000 pesos then turns the 56,000 the savings becomes 24,000 pesos per month now how many months will Mr. Reyes recover? to recover we need to have the cost equal to the revenue. Our revenue is the savings. So the cost here of the machine is 275,000 pesos. And the savings for having the machine has been 24,000 pesos per month. Now, multiplied with how many months will this equal to the cost? So, x now here is equal to 11.5 months. So for 11.5 months, Mr. Reyes can now able to recover the cost of the machine.